Hello, in this tutorial I will explain how timers work in HBO3. Timers are basically functions that are executed after a specified amount of time has passed. I added a new room with some levers, lamps, doors and trigger areas set up and also a robot fish. First let's set up things in the editor. On this level I created a callback called timer lever state changed and made it so that the lever will be stuck once set to its maximum limit. With scripting we will make it so that once the player pulls the lever each of the lights on the wall will light up consecutively and then the door will open. For the other lever I set up a callback named fish state change. We will use this to call a repeating timer that will turn on one of the lights and make the fish go towards it. Also make sure that the lever can be switched both on and off. I set up several lamps named fish lamp underscore the number of the lamp. Similarly, the trigger areas near the lamp are named fish pose underscore number. There is another area named fish target. This is the entity the fish will try to swim around. Now let's select the fish. Its group entity name should contain the trigger area's name, fish target. In the fish small tab, you have other options for the fish. Set the towards center value to something like 150 so that the fish will swim very close to the entity. If you set it too high, the fish might simply freeze and not move at all. Now let's copy the state change callbacks for both levers in code light. But before we use them, we will have to set up our timers. There is no way of copying a timer from the editor, so we will have to either copy an example or declare it manually. This is what a timer's declaration looks like. It only has a name parameter which is used to reference the timer's instance. Let's name the timer Light Timer 1. The timer will be called in a certain amount of time after it has been added to the map. After that, everything that we specify inside the timer will happen. Let's light the first lamp and create the sound at its location. Now let's add another timer. When you add a timer, you must specify its instance name, the time to wait until it's called, and the name of the function inside the map script. Now let's declare the second timer and light the second lamp and call a timer for the third one. On the third timer we will do the same and call the fourth one where we will unlock and open the door. After we set up all four of the timers we have to call the first timer in the lever state change function. Now let's test it in dev mode. Now let's set up another lever to set a timer that tells the fish to randomly move to one of the lamps. To do so we have to create a repeating timer. Let's call it fish timer. Inside the timer we will need to declare an int variable, let's name it i, and have it be a random value between 1 and 5. To get a random value we have to use the cmathrandrectf function with two parameters, the first being the minimum value and the second one being the maximum value. The second value has to be 6 so that it will get randoms between 1 and 5. Let's also create a tstring variable named fish destination, which will be equal to fish pose underscore plus i, which is a number between 1 and 5. By doing this, the fish destination string will be the name of a random trigger area selected from those we placed in the room. Now let's move the fish's target area to its destination using the entity place at entity function. Now let's turn off all fish lamps and turn on the one that's near the current fish area. By using the asterisk I created a wildcard which will apply the function to all entities that begin with fish lamp underscore. Let's also create a sound at that location. Finally we have to call this timer again. Let's be very specific about the instance name. Now let's make it so that the timer is called every random amount of seconds, between 5 and 10. The last parameter will be the name of the timer's function. 
Now that this is set up, we need to initialize or stop it using the other lever. The map remove timer function is used to remove a timer found by its instance name. If the lever is turned on, then we will remove any existing fish timers and add a new one. If it's turned off, we will remove the timer and turn off any lamps that are still on. Now let's test this in dev mode. By using timers you can add a lot of complex events to your mod. Sometimes however, if you have to script a complex event with a lot of timers, it's better to use sequences instead. Sequences will be covered in an upcoming tutorial. Stay tuned for more HBL3 tutorials in the future.